ride from Young Shore. We're just heading into town now. Sunset coming up in probably an hour or so. Just stopped by a little Mandarin stall. Here's Nick behind me. We were trying to negotiate a good deal, but uh, we don't actually want to carry them back. So we decided, in spite of the bargain, we don't want to buy any anyway. But um, good little use of the roadside here and uh, plenty of business happening, but looks like we're not going to be buyers at this little spot today. Nick just wanted to stop again. We passed this little woodworking place. Guys working away on it just to my left. Yeah, he's giving us the full tour now. Pretty generous. Just another little thing that was collecting dust in the corner. Quite the musician as well, obviously. Something from Game of Thrones. It's like 3,500 is what he sell it for. So like six, seven hundred dollars. This one's got all kinds of stuff going on. The claws and everything. kilometers now before we get back to Young Shore. We're just crossing a little bridge here with a killer evening view. It looks like they're offloading all the rafts into the river. Not much delicate about that process. Tucking into another dinner. Expectations are high. It smells a bit funny. Nick and I have just made our way up a little hill quite close to the center of Young Shore. Paid five RMB to get access to the top of the mountain. Little cell phone tower with some people up. And they make a bit of side cash by letting people in to look at the view. And Nick's never been happier. He's exploring every little nook and cranny. This is the view that we had to bribe those guys, the big bucks, to check out. A lot more of these like cast hills. On our way down the hill now, and Nick's playing with some busker's livelihood that he's seen in a little cave here. Taking this dodgy track down the hill, like there's a really established one and we found this one that's kind of blocked off, but we decided to follow it. That's where we found the cave. Obviously we were assuming it was going to go all the way down because it's pretty it's cut pretty seriously into the hill. But yeah, it just got to a dead end. So now we've got to climb our way back up to rejoin the proper trail and then descend from there. Maybe so, we can just keep going, it's not much further. Well, it's pretty rough. <laughs> It'll be like a scene out of a movie, fighting wolves or something. Nick and I have just had lunch and we're now wandered away on a little trail that he found on this mapping app that he's got. Real rough trail. We've come through to a orchard. It seems to be a pumelo orchard. We're basically surrounded by um, more of the cast outcrops. Feels like we kind of discovered this hidden little spot away from the main part of Yang Shua. Got invited to walk to the top of this um, little guest house here and uh, hiked up what must have been six flights of stairs for a view from the top. Found what looks like a really crazy looking obstacle course just going straight along the cliff. And there's like these planks that you gotta walk from one to another and ladders and like these little uh, handles just drilled into the rock and stuff like that. Nick claims that it appears to be free. He's just gonna have a go at it. It looks like he's gotta gain about 30 meters and risk his neck. We'll see how this ends soon. No ladder too rickety. No bolt too loose for Nick. No wire, too frayed. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Still following the route that Nick scoped out on the map, and uh, we found ourselves in another big amphitheater. This one with a lot of construction going on. Don't know where this path goes now. Nick's uh, Nick's last few words. So we'll see where we end up. Nick and I have made our way up a little hill to try and catch sunset. The sun side of it is not too striking, but the hills look as good as ever. A few moths buzzing around. This is what we're standing on. Pretty rough limestone. So you gotta kind of leapfrog from one rock to another. Quick ride today from Yang Shua, following the Yulong River. On my own today, and I'm um, just checking out some of the nice little spots. Not the only one here, obviously. Plenty of Chinese wandering through the, um, the flower fields. I 
bike share schemes in China which are stationless. They're a little bit uncomfortable to the local city authorities because they get left everywhere and they pile up. I've not actually noticed any of these bikes around Yangshuo and I'm thinking that maybe this is why. This is far from a big pile compared to what can exist in China. It can be just acres of these things piled up. Day four in Yangshuo now and Nick and I have taken a short bike ride just down from Yangshuo to a little village of Fuli which is supposed to have a bit of an ancient town but as far as I can tell it's kind of a fake one. They don't seem to be old buildings to me. To my right here is the river and then there's this abandoned building that I'm in. I think it might have been a home but it's a bit hard to tell. So in here is the kitchen. The floor here is all covered in mud. There you go. There's a plant growing in the middle of the room. So good spot to camp but I'm making our way to the airport tonight and gonna fly off to Kunming. Nick and I have been riding a route through the countryside with the hopes that at the point where we meet the river we'd be able to get a boat across and then continue to make a big loop for the day. Got to the point where we had hoped there might be some boats crossing but it's basically the quietest section of the river we've seen so far. So almost everywhere around Yangshuo there's just been armies like tremendous number of boats going up and down the river. But here, it is dead. So, uh, looks like it's gonna be a likely plan B from here. Might have to go back the way we came. Nick's speculating on the idea that perhaps we use bamboo to make some stilts and make our way across. Could be difficult. There's a boat there. With bicycles. We've got some movement. Looks like we might get a ride across. So he's on his way over now. When he gets here, we've gotta try and figure out a decent price. Bearing in mind that he's got a bit of a monopoly on the job. Yeah, and he has to support his decadent lifestyle living in that beachside chalet. We've got a deal, it's 20 RMB for the two of us to cross. Yep, save you getting your boots wet. I'm now sitting at the very end of the boat with the water kind of lapping just below my shoes for the time being. Hopefully it stays that way. And um, Got the guy rowing the boat at the other side. I'm just crouching. God, I hope I don't fall off. This is easier than Nick's bamboo method, I reckon. I'm just still hoping I don't fall in. Hey, do you reckon it's fake bamboo? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like plastic. Very nice, isn't it? After all that hard work of getting across the river, it's time for a beer. 